I, yesterday I had just um, received or purchased the premium pass and so far I'm really excited to do this but first I'm getting straight to um, battle packs and I'm gonna bring I might possibly bring um, some um, they shall not pass gameplay today and they gave me some extra scraps which is actually really nice and then I'm gonna open a few battle packs and see what I can get and I take battle packs more serious than supply drops. Oh my god, it's a good one. Oh yes! Dude, that's a martini. Oh my god, I'm happy about that. Squad XP boost. A winter update revision. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe that. I just got a martini first one. That's a blue, that's just as good. Come on. I don't fly planes, but... <gasps> Bartek bludgeon. Okay, I'm like really red dazzle. Oh, I already own that. I'm gonna scrap that really quickly. Actually, no. You guys probably just want to see the battle packs. Revision 15. Oh boy, I'm hype about this. I can't wait to play the actual normal. Another yellow. Come on. Oh, what is that? Oh, that looks nice. I'm actually gonna use that. And another bar tech. I think I just unlocked the bar tech. I think I just unlocked the bar tech, guys. I n I think I just did. <gasps> guys, I unlocked the bar tech bludgeon. Bro, I didn't even plan this. Oh my god, guys, I unlocked the bar tech bludgeon. Sorry, it's not the bill hook, saber, kirky, or sawtooth. I cannot believe this. I, un I just unlocked the bar tech bludgeon on camera. And I just wanted to do this off cam. I'm happy I didn't. Oh my god, I'm happy about this. Come on. Okay, another gold or yellow oh and it's a new one the jeweler m95 one of my other favorite guns dude another bartek bludgeon what okay i'm not gonna complain that's not bad oh please be something good in this these are unique dude i'm happy about this thank you for putting this in premium pass <gasps> please be a bodeo oh my god that's a bodeo bodeo 1889 my favorite pistol and it always gets a bonus. That's a sawtooth. I need one more for that sawtooth. Please be in here. Please. This has the sawtooth. This is the best battle pack opening in all history. That looks beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, it didn't come with the sawtooth. I don't care. I'm, ha I'm happy. Okay, that's a little white still. That's not bad for the M1907 not upset about that actually and then I'm gonna try this new weapon exchange stuff okay so far I like this okay what do I need for that a thousand over over a thousand for that okay that's actually kind of funny inspect um, a branch of the famous 600 year old Bartek oak in Poland fashioned into a brutal but bludgeoning tool for use in the Great War so what is this Bartek oak I'm gonna Google what that is. I actually have no idea what that is. Okay. The gasser, why not keep that? Um, I'll get rid of the veteran gallery. Scrap. I'm just gonna scrap things and see if I can, like, trade for the other Emily camouflage. That looks amazing. The general, the man stopper, and the villain. Okay, this is just. Let's not title it. Um, Mars Automatic. I kind of like that gun. Shocked. Um, the Duke of Aosta. This looks really good. And I've been using it. The Blue Devil for the M1907 self-loading. That's in general. Not the, like, um, standard variant or something. Camouflage masking. Okay, the self-slaughter looks nice. SMG. The Automatic. Oh, that's my only SMG, so. I wish I had a BAR camo. Okay, um, M1903. Okay, that that doesn't look bad, actually. I don't use that gun, though. I can't wait to use that Martini Henry skin. It looks amazing. Okay, th these two right here look really nice. On um, the Royal Order. I thought it was Royal Decree. I think that's for the Calibri. Um, okay, let's see. Camouflage Shroud. I already got something for the Jeweler, which is ten times better than a Camouflage Shroud. But it's the Kaiser. And, um, sidearms already did that. Melee. 
I am extremely, extremely close that it's sad. I'm one off. And I don't use squad XP boost, so I don't know why those are taken so seriously. Not like an like offensive. I'm just saying like I'm just kinda curious why it's looked at like such a serious like high ranking level stuff. And I don't know why the vehicles have like 90 scrap. It's a bit crazy. I want that sawtooth. Ooh, the Kirky looks nice. I don't care for the saber, I never like swords like that. And this just looks overdone, that looks fine. Let me see, I like that and I love the MLE. Okay, let me see how I can do this. Let me see. If I get a superior, I could get one of these. I could get something for the label. Oh, I'm doing it. If I could get a label camel, I am gonna be the happiest person in the world. Please, the other belt. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing, not even looking, not even looking. Oh, it's a lot. It's a bodail. At least I get a lot of scrap from it. Not a bad thing. Okay. And the squad XP boost. Maybe I can get another, actually. That'll be surprising. Let me see. Oh, how close am I to that? Oh, those are 900? I could get another. Oh, please be my please be my day. Please be my day. And I already have the devil dog for the M1903. But that's what I feel scared about. Okay, do the animation. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, please. Uh, this sounds awesome. What is it? <gasps> oh, my God. It's the LaBelle. It's the LaBelle model 1886. Lepoli. I don't know how to say that. That's French. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a lapel. And a squad XP boost. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh bro. Maybe I could get some of the new average camos. What? Whoa. I'm like. It's like almost most definite to give me a blue. I am astonished. Yeah, I knew that. For a tank. That's the new tank. The assault tank. That's not a bad thing. This gives me a lot of... Is this gonna go on all day? I put Battlefield 1. I think I put short opening. Let's see how long this could go on until I run out of stuff I could like... Not stuff I could scrap, but... Stuff in battle packs that I just opened, just received, that I could scrap. Or I'm um, basic casual battle pack. I have got some yellows or um, silvers, but that's a way not bad. I think I already have one of these. Veteran soldier. I'll scrap that anyway. Okay, if ended finally. So um, before this um, battle pack stuff is done and finished, I was gonna get the suede, but I got much better stuff. The label. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my, I'm shaking. This is Battlefield. What am I doing shaking over a camouflage? Oh my god. Um, where is it? Now, the label inspect. If I scrapped it, oh my god, I'm getting close to the screen. Oh, that has the French writing, that has the saint symbol, the golden plate. Oh, oh my god. Oh. And then this has. And I love snipers. Oh yes, that's the that's part of the new. Um, they shall not pass. Um, I want to say, uh, they shall not pass. What? What's it called? What's it called? Revision. Revision. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. I know it's been out for a little while. This del they shall not. I put that. Um, they shall not pass. You'll see. But I mean. Okay, I'm gonna just show you how, like, I have the basic guns already set up, like, normally, but, uh, cause I just got the premium, and this is my first time engaging this game with the premium pass, worth it, it made my day completely amazing, and I have my lucky Deadshot cap on too, new loadout, 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. What? New loadout? What's that? New weapons? Okay, then that was a bit odd. Oh, Bartek Bludgeon. Bartek Bludgeon. Bartek Bludgeon. A beautiful weapon. Oh, it breaks wood and light vehicles. That's nice. Okay, nothing different there. 1903 Hammerless. That's a really good pistol, by the way. 1903 Emily and M19. Best weapons in the game right now for me. Okay. Alright, so these are... Like, I'll just show you guys which weapons I want. You can't see it now because it's not unlocked, but it's going to be unlocked really soon. I want the Ribe Roles 1918 Factory. I want that for sure. I'm a huge medic and sniper, so I want this RSC 1917 Factory because it's Iron Sight. Just a factory version. It's Iron Sight, and right now I have the auto loading extended, which is really good to me. But let's see. It does better damage. Amazing because the auto loading is pretty strong, actually. Wait, let's compare that to a Mondragon Storm best medic rifle in the game. Not for speed, though. That's stronger than a Mondragon. If it's stronger than a Soap Slaughter, it's gonna be... Oh my god, that song stronger than Soap Slaughter. It's same accuracy, same hip fire, and better control. This is amazing, guys. I am really happy right now. Let's go to the Bartek Bludgeon. Amazing weapon. And from here... Okay, I don't, I don't like to heal it, by the way. That was just there. I was just seeing what I could, like, what weapons I had. The, I usually, for, let me just show you guys my setups quickly. For an assault, I either use the Hellrigo, or, let me see. Let me see what other pistol camos I got. Um, what was it? Nothing here. But, um, I either use the Hellrigo, or the, is this it? The Sweeper. Yeah, this thing is really fast. Anything that's an M97 trench gun is gonna demolish, just saying. And then for my medic class, my weapon of choice is an M1907 sweeper. There's my um, elite camo, elite camo. Okay, um, M1907 sweeper and usually an MLE or the Tatum pistol. And then, um, oh, bandage pouch, medical syringe. I use incendiary depending on what game what I'm playing. It's either frag incendiary or light anti-tank for me. Um, here, before I had the, um, Bartek bludgeon, I would mainly use either the spike club, which is highly similar, or the trench mace, hatchet, or pickaxe. Okay. This is self-explanatory if you, if you play this game often. This is the bar M1918 Storm. I use telescopic at times. In trench, I never use at all. And I use the Bulldog Revolver or the Modelo 1915. Ammo pouch, crossbow launcher, HE. Um, same with um, this as the medic in the explosives category. Light anti-tank grenade, um, incendiary, or frag grenade. And I always use same same choice as the medic for melee weapons. If let's go back on that anyway. Spike club, trench mace, hatchet or pickaxe. And then the bar nineteen eighteen storm. Okay. I use iron sights when it's like a close map. If it's a farther range map, I use AA and usually you go on the one in magnification. And it looks amazing, especially with your um if you could customize the game to like have the what is it? Dang it, uh, what's it, what's it called? I'm trying to figure that out. The high field of view. Like, um, a really high level field of view. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I don't use radium sights in the bodeo. And I liked the swashbuckler. I like this one. But what compares to, to this? I know it's kind of hard to see in this, but it's actually really nice. Okay, let me see what I have to do to unlock the label. And I'm going to use it with the actual sniper. And I'm going to perform five headshots with in one round. Okay, that's difficult. Perform ten periscope spot assist. Okay, that's just... That's a breeze. Okay, this. Perform 50 kills with the Jewer M95 infantry. It's right here. 
Let me see if I let me see if I have that. Like I have the weapon, but let me see which camo I have. I I have an elite camo for that, and it's really nice. That's gonna be a breeze. And then perform 20 spot flare assist. I have no idea how to use these spot flares, but I'm gonna have to. That's how it looks to be. Oh, and I got an IC93, um, the general. I think I've had this before, but I traded it. Not traded, but, um, scrapped it. And let me just get the setup ready. It has to be a Russian sniper right here. Is that it? It's not the infantry or the trench sniper. Okay. Bartek bludgeon. I'm just customizing now because I'm going to be right back and I'm not going to live stream it, but I want to see how much weapons and weaponry I can unlock. But the only thing is that this is multiplayer, not single player, so it has a completely different, like, difficulty on trying to, like, get your goals throughout this stuff. Alright, so, I'm really sorry. I have to get rid of that MP18. If you guys like that gun, I'm sorry, but I hate it. I do not like that gun. So it looks like automatic trench has better hip fire. This just has a little bit better accuracy and control. And yep. Sounds good because this gun is super fast. The barrel, I like this bayonet though. It looks really classy. I mean it's a blade, but this looks classy, I don't know. Um let's put that magnification to one. The peep sight looks nice, but these sights originally look really good. As a calibre round, I was just messing around. Wait a minute, if you guys don't know what the Calibri is. World's smallest pistol. Bet it's the lightest. It's fu- <laughs> It's funny how he just looks down has, as in between the thumb and index finger. Wait, how do I unlock the Ribeiro legs? The automatical- From 50 goes with the automatical M1918 factory. Factory. Okay, that's this one. Oh, where am I going? Perform 20 headshots with MP18 optical. I'm just getting it set. MP18 optical. At least it's not the experimental. I really do not like optical weapons. But for this weapon, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I think I already know how to get the RC factory. Um, perform 50 kills with the sweeper, got that set. 50 revives, got that set. That's gonna be easy. I don't care for the chow chow, but 50 kills with the Lewis gun suppressive. I like the Lewis gun. That's actually going to be kind of fun. Oh, God. That's with the scope? Oh, they did that on purpose because everything else is a breeze. Oh, wow. That's kind of messed up. Oh, is that telescopic? No, it's not. I don't like it with telescope. Um, 75 resupplies. The easiness on that enamel crate and enamel pouch. How simple. Okay, guys, I can't wait to do this. And before you um go, or before I go, okay, these are the new two operations. Which okay, beyond the the Martin, I don't know how to say that. I want to try it, but I don't like it. Devil's Anvil looks fun. The initial battle overdone. Love Verdun battles. That's what I really like would study Verdun and Gettysburg battles Harlem Hellfighters The initial battle of Verdun in 1916 and the later struggle for Fort Fox This looks really good And I can't wait to play you see um right there. That's Verdun above it. So it's top right I don't know how to say that underneath that is Italian Bienes Embrie So this is basically I'm positive that's a Russian Empire, but, um, French Empire versus Russian Empire, or just the French in general, which are blue jackets, they have blue jackets, I believe. Okay, beyond the Marne, the me mechanized French attacks during the Second Battle of the Marne in 1918. I mean, that sounds kind of good, does this have Verdun too? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's a bit cool, different. Compiani, Sociones, underneath this flag right there. Fismé, Reims, Laon, and Saint Quentin. Okay, Saint Quentin is one of my favorite areas in this game. I think this. Did they do that? Did they steal Saint Quentin from Iron Walls? 
They didn't. Kind of looks like it. I don't know, they're kind of similar. Oil of Empires is my least favorite. Iron Walls is my, um, second favorite. I, I've i tried out Kaiser a lot. I don't remember it, though. Conquer Hell is my first favorite. Right there. Um, and then Kaiser Lot. Kaiser Chalakcha. Kaiser Lot. Um, it's my third favorite. I cannot wait to do this. And, um, let's show you guys something else, too. And, um, this DLC, there's this new operation called Frontline. I'll just play this video. Mobile war on the Western Front. Holding on to captured ground proved to be a challenge. By the way, this is task. they shall not pass one of the map packs. Frontlines this is all one conquest map. Conquest and rush That's in, in a symmetrical head-on engagement, where the contested front line can move in both directions. Yep. During the first phase, each side fight over a chain. That's a ribbon roller that he's holding. Only one of the objectives is active at once. That's the um, SMLE. An objective allows that faction to advance closer to the enemy base. Once a faction loses uh, the flag I objective, M97, I think is what this gun is. I don't really know about They will have to the two telegraph posts inside the base. Artillery called in from the telegraphs can be used. Okay, this guy's using the M97. That one right there had a shotgun. The phase ends when both telegraph posts have been destroyed. I see a lot of ribbon rollers in this. Ribbon rollers. A failed telegraph. Those are the poppy fields, by the way. The initial flag objectives phase. Okay, this is the RSC medic weapon that he just had in his hand, which is what I'm going for to achieve. The game ends when one faction has destroyed both enemy telegraph posts. That's the RSC optical, I believe. Yeah, it is. Oh no, Mon Dragon optical. My bad. Okay. Amazing. Just amazing, and I'll just show you Team Deathmatch because it's my In second favorite. Ways, World War One changed the notion Actually, it's like my main Near the end of it was KDM operation, and I want to try out this new one. The enemy to surrender by That's Hellrigal. The Hellrigal. Team Deathmatch mirrors the simple brutality of war. Infantry-based units what combat is that? each other to the death. That's a Jewer 98. The game pits your side against the enemy. He had a Bartek Bludgeon, that's a bar, M1918 Storm, M1911 Self-Slaughter, M1916 Optical. He just deployed a medikit. That's the Wex with the flamethrower kit. Auto-loading 8.25 extended. I can tell because it has a bigger magazine clip. And that was the M... Oh, I forgot the name of that one. Okay, let's go. Alright, so I'm gonna just try to get through this and get my achievement of these new weapons. And I could care less about this one. Um, this, it looks good. It sounds good the way it it is and everything, but I just don't want it. This, oh man, when I say... I want this so badly. The, this American trench gun proved to be effective during war that the German Empire protested its use. Can be fired without releasing the trigger. Amazing. That's a Hellfighter trench shotgun. Love that weapon. Really want that. The RSC 1917 Optical. I want the RSC 1917 op not Optical Factory. Okay, where's my controller going? It's me. Okay. Okay, these I don't care. Those are the Chow Chow, Telescoptic and Basic or Normal. This is a Lawrence of Arabia SMLE. A British bolt action rifle with a high magazine capacity. Excellent for medium to long range use. Lebel model eighteen eighty six sniper. Gonna use that a lot. Then I'm gonna get the infantry. Okay. Um pilot. What don't I have for the pilot? The sawed off, okay. Wait, I can't unlock that? I wanna unlock that. You know, I wanna customize that, like, wait a minute. I'm kinda curious, I wanna unlock that. Would it be like weapons classes? I don't know how to do that. I just did it a few weeks ago. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
That's weird, and I have enough of the point stuff to unlock it. Right, square instead? I'm kinda confused. I have so much, I can't unlock that? Does it require skill requirement? The M1911 extended, I can't get that? Ooh, what is that? MLE 1903 extended? I never knew that was in here from the edit they saw in the past. That's a survival knife that's different than the regular. Calvary, that's a Russian. Wait, is that Russian 19, 1895? Calv, cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's see. There's um, a new elite class. I wonder if it's in here for melee. Tank Chewer, Wex, does all the originals, and the Villar Parosa, then the MG um, 08, 15, um, Trench Periscope, Anti-Tank, oh, these stick grenades are from the new guy, the Trench, uh, I wanna call him the Trench Fighter, Trench Raider, there you go. Okay guys, um, thank you for watching, and I'll be back in, I'll say a few hours or so, maybe tomorrow. And, um, quickly, let me just show you my Battlefield 4. Nothing here to, like, play, but... Just saying, I still have Battlefield 4, and I'm a level 29. Let me see that level. 29, yep. And I don't have premium for it. And I've had it for over five or four years, I think. I've had it since day one. Oh, boy. All right, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And this is Mid, and I'm out.